Okay, this is painful. Yes, this is very painful. These tools, well, these tools are trash. I am sick and tired of using iron tools. I think it's about time we head on down to the bottom of the world and do some mining for diamonds because I can't take the iron any longer. Oh, diamonds, where are you? As I wasn't having any luck strip mining, I tried out some caving instead. Oh. Ah. Mmm. Nice. Ah, uh, are you okay there, bud? I guess not. Okay, so I've been caving for a few hours now and all I've got is 21 diamonds, which isn't great for the amount of time and effort I've put in. I've been just mining out with stone pickaxes and iron a few times, but it is taking forever to strip mine through the deep slate with that. I did also try go caving and see if I could find diamonds that way, but again, it's just a bit of a nightmare with the mobs and things, but this will get me started for now. We can make up a few tools like this and that way we can probably mine a little bit quicker and I think our next goal probably is to set up a temporary enchanting table just so we can get some enchants on these tools. Okay, I had some bookshelves and things already, so I've made this up and obviously it's not going to get us to level 30, but we aren't level 30 currently anyway. So if I just throw that in, what can we get? A level 18 and breaking 3. Oh, that could actually could be quite good if we just get ourselves another few levels. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go try and get ourselves a few levels and then we'll do that and chat in the pick. Just to make it a little bit better on breaking and make it last obviously longer. Hopefully we might get lucky with fortune 1 or 2 maybe, possibly, hopefully. I think I'm going to just pop into the nether, mine up some quartz, that way we can get some quick and easy XP. Levels acquired, now let us see if we can get lucky, alright, and well I need lapis. Okay let's go, let's go, let's go, I'm breaking three, fortune of some kind. Fortune one, haha, <laughs> efficiency three as well, that is an absolutely brilliant pick considering we don't have a full setup. And that's going to help us get some more diamonds and maybe even fully gear ourselves up if we go and do a little bit more strip mining. So let's see what else I can make and how many more diamonds I can get in the next few hours. So after that little bit of caving, this is the diamonds we have, 30 more. I think that should be enough to get us a full set of armour and some tools. So let's just go ahead and make that. We're going to have a chest plate, we're going to have some leggings, a helmet, some boots and then let's do an axe. And I need a shovel, but I need one more diamond because I do want to have another pickaxe because I really need one with silk touch on it. So we're going to do that and then that should be good. So let us put on our new fancy armor. And what do you think? I think the green suits the texture of my skin and it looks a lot better than the iron. Obviously though we are struggling for levels and things so in order to enchant we will need to get ourselves an XP grinder and well and you may be asking yourself BP how is your enchanting table now set up for level 30? Well let's just say I've acquired some leather and paper from somewhere but I can't quite remember from where. Anyway, that does mean we do need to find ourselves a better way to get some XP, but I'm happy enough we have the diamonds and I think the next thing I want to do is set up the interior of my base. Hello sir. Don't block, don't block, don't block. And chop. Yeah. Oh, almost. But yes, as I was saying, the interior is the next thing on the list of things to do as I am sick and tired of going in the little basement area. We need to sort out our storage system, get this place decorated up. But there is still a ton of things I need to gather up for this interior. So I'm going to do that off camera, build it up off camera as there's no easy way to show the inside. Then we can take a tour and I'll show you just how it looks. Alright, that did take a lot longer than anticipated and as you can see behind me, there has been a lot going on on the server. So if we take a look out here, we have Doom's House, we have Whitefire, we have Blonde Skunk, we have Justin in the back, we have Ash here, Tink is just down on the river there and well, there's that. Probably the less spoken about that, the better. Then up behind our base, we have GP, we have KB is just behind over there and Kingsley is on a mountain. We have Artorian just over there as well and I'm not sure if there's anyone else that started building a base just yet. But anyway, we did work on the interior and we have finally got it done. Well, there is a few things left to do, but it is mainly up and running. 
So coming in the front door, we have ourselves a staircase. Now I wanted to go for a bit of a more cluttered look, so there is lots of little details here, like candles, flower pots, things like that. I've got some beehives here, and the staircase goes all the way up to our smaller tower. Then we have a bridge going across to the main base, and in here we have a little walkway with a room just in front of us. Some storage and things lying around just to do with that little bit of detail. This little room here is dedicated to maps and banners, so we have a cartography table to make up some maps. I do need to make a map of our area just for right here on this little table. And then we have a loom here for making some banners and some wool and things, and I'll probably keep some wool and banners up in these chests right here. Come on, we'll check this in a second, but let's actually head upstairs I think first, as our bedroom is up here. We have a large bed, and although it doesn't look like a functional bed, there is actually a hidden bed right there that we can use. But we also have little bookshelves, some paintings around the place, some banners. I do also need to get myself armour that I can put on here. But yeah, we only have this set at the moment and we do still need to get it all enchanted up. Heading back downstairs though, we can go down a level and we have our enchanting and brewing room. So I moved our enchanting table up here. We can get level 30 on this. We have some books and things here and obviously our potions we can store down here as well. Then we have some more stairs going down and this room's empty for now as this is what I want to do on camera with you guys in just a moment after we finish our tour. But this also leads out to our lookout spot here in the tower. Then we head downstairs once again and if we turn right we have our storage room. So obviously we had chests here lying in the middle but now I've labelled them all, everything is sorted into the chests. So that is pretty good and yeah, a nice open area here. We have our crafting stations and I think it looks pretty cool. Quite a lot of storage here, it should be good enough for our needs at the start of this season. There's more stairs going down to our basement area which I have not yet decorated. I'm not sure what I want to do down here. I think just a few little farms. As you see I've already put a little honey farm here. So this has just been getting me some uh, honeycomb here. I needed them for the beehives and the candles for the wax and things. So I think I'll just fill this area out with little farms like that and decorate it out as I go. And well, probably make a better staircase than this as it's not exactly ideal. But heading back all the way up to where we just were. At the entranceway, we have this little door, which is actually a water elevator. This takes us up to our tower at the very top, and we have melons and pumpkins up here. I'm not sure if that makes sense to have melons and pumpkins stored at the top of our tower, but that's where I wanted to put them, so they're here. Anyway though, other than that, yeah, it's just a few barrels and chests around, but a nice view that we have over all of the lands. There's Artovian's little wagon I was speaking about, and actually, can we see... Yeah, I think we can. That's KB's little mysterious dungeon he has going on and I believe King Z right there in the cave little mining entrance. And last but not least we do have one little last ladder going all the way to the very tippity top of our lookout tower. A little guard station, camping station to have someone housed up here to overlook all of the lands at spawn and watch as the place grows. But back up to this room here, as I want to build this up with you guys here, I want to actually build a automatic furnace system and squeeze it into this space here. Quite a small one, nothing too extreme as we don't have a lot of space, but I have prepared up all of the resources and materials that we will need to build this. So I think first of all, we do need a collection chest right about here and then obviously a line of hoppers going into that. Then we'll have a row of just five furnaces on top as I think that should be enough and it means we can add our minecart system to feed in the items and behind those we will also need the hoppers at the back to feed in all of the fuel. Then we need some blocks either side as we will need to place on some rails for this so I think we're going to need a powered rail on either end like so and regular rails in the middle to join those up and running along the top of those hoppers. We need some more hoppers on top of the furnaces. This will be our input for the items we want to smelt. Once again, we're going to need some blocks as these will require rails also. Then we can place a minecart chest on this track and a minecart chest on that track and we will activate that with the lever underneath. First of all though, we have to go over here and place a block at the end so we can have that be powered fully and it bounce back and forward between those two. Then we're going to add a block here with a lever like so and that's going to power both of those rails there. And if we add a lever underneath that should power both of those rails. So we turn this on, these minecarts should go back and forward now and yeah just like that. So that's going to distribute our fuel at the back and our items on the top evenly between these five 
furnaces and then once they smelt the items they should all collect in this chest right here. And there we have it after a quick bit of decoration just covering that up with some trap doors. We have our furnaces right there. We have our output chest at the end and we can do a little test run. So we just have to flip this trap door and then we can access that. We can throw in let's do 32 sand in there and turn this on and just see how quickly that this lights up. You can see the items all distributing evenly across all of these furnaces. And we have also a main cart there at the back which is distributing coal to them as well. But I did think this would be handy to have upstairs here and fill out this room as it's always a pain to smell up a bunch of items. This way we can go here, throw it in and then we can carry on crafting and things, everything else that we need. So let's take a look how are we doing, 15, 16, 17, yeah we are getting there so definitely a handy piece of machinery to have in our base. Something else we need to do before the episode ends, we do need to take away this bit of land over here on the corner as I believe Doom is actually going to build us a bridge across so I think I'm going to take away probably about here and just take away all this land so that we can get a little bridge and widen out this river and make it a little bit more natural looking. And then I think once that's done I'm going to try and put like a bit of a dock running up the front of this bay here or this little bit of the land, bring this right all the way up to the water, put a little dock across and then maybe build a bridge over there as well. I'm not quite sure but first of all I think we do need to remove all of this and let Doom build his bridge. So I think that'll do for the terraforming here, not too much to do and as I said Doom is going to build a bridge connecting us up here. Uh, just around about here I think so look out for that in his next episode and if you do want to see all of the things going on on the server all of these builds by these awesome creators on the server then there will be links down in the description to everyone's channels we do also have a discord you can come in there chat with us and see what we are up to for our episodes and things give us suggestions as well. But with that guys, that is going to do it for the second episode of our Season 5 Afterlife base. The next one, we're going to start working on a way to get more diamonds as mining is a pain. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching and until the next one guys, bye bye.